Yeah, I should probably do something about that. God, I was muted the whole time, wasn't I? Oh, man, that's okay. I didn't have anything important to say anyway. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, yeah, that's uh, the intro is just I take clips from the previous week and put them in the front. And then um, that way everybody can see what was going on. How much fun we were having the previous week, huh? <laughs> what's up, Noxera? What's up, Dom Dell? What's up, Stochasticism? What's up, Prominence? What's up, Shit Shaker? Uh, what's up, Pathfinder Gaming? What's up, Alexis the Nexus, Commander Root, Emma the Dilemma, Green Leader, Locke Haley, Lurks, OG Wiz, Sophia Fox, and Omega Red? What is up to all of you? How you guys doing? Thought I'd come in here, do some dailies, see what's going on in MSF. I will not be here tomorrow uh, or for the rest of the week and maybe even Monday too. I have to go pick up two cats. Uh, very sad this morning, found out that I will not be picking up three cats. One of them uh, had a seizure and it was kind of unfortunate, but I will be going and picking up the other two. It was really sad that we couldn't get there in time to see all three cats and bring all three cats home to us, but that's how it goes. We still have two lovely cats that I get to drive back to Oregon to pick up and then drive all the way back to Texas in the car with, which is going to be plenty of fun. But in the meantime, I wanted to just uh, take this opportunity to stream a little bit with you guys, try and do some arena attacks and raids and all the other fun stuff that we like to do here on stream. This is an Agatha one. Yeah, um, way too raw is uh, feeling it. You know, she she had those cats for 15 years now, and um, it's really really sad that one of them passed. Just just old age, just old age. They're old cats. That's why we're not flying them. We figured the flight would be too much on them, and uh, it was probably a wise choice. So um, anyway, on to happier things because that's uh, that's in the past. We'll probably have some pictures or something we can show in Discord if you guys are really interested to see the cats, but. We'll move on. Uh, what do you guys think about this nerf to Agatha? Is it as detrimental as Reminex says it is? What's up, Athem? Personally, um, I mean, and, and I'm not throwing any shade to Rem. He's very passionate about trying to fix this game and get those devs to listen to him, and I understand his frustrations. But for me, though it's a terrible thing to, what are we doing here? Okay, we'll try this. It's a terrible thing to nerf a character ever in a game. Like, that's kind of a cardinal sin. You just don't want to be doing that. I do think that... Wow, this is really going kind of kind of a weird, weird match for me. I do think that this isn't such a big deal simply because the team is past its prime. I'm not saying it's a bad team, and I'm not even saying that they're going downhill, but I do think that the, the Darkhold team has peaked and I think that there are counters coming out to it that make this nerf less important. So it sucks, but it's that's the way it is. Anyway, what do you guys think about it? I don't think she really needs the nerf, MMO. Um, probably right. I mean, we're all used to dealing with the team and I, I kind of think they should have just done a text change. I think they should have done a text change is what they should have done. Personally, I think it's a good thing, says Taki. I don't know, can I beat Dormammu with this basic punch? Maybe. Come on, bro, get him. Yeah, there we go, okay, that worked. My Eternals are sleeping on the job. And we get a kill, I doubt it. She doesn't have the vulnerable, so I'm not gonna get the double tap, that sucks. If I would've had a vulnerable on her, that might've gone differently. There goes my Eternals again. Come on, let's get Agatha dead, there we go. One more punch, will it do it? No. Could have swore she had ability block. Yeah, ability block zero, never mind that. That doesn't matter. Uh, I sent that clip in from yesterday's stream about MLF having the immunity and I was still able to apply positive effects to her. And his response was, you need to send in your PID number with clips like these. <laughs> There you go, folks. Community Manager Archangel, there to help. <laughs> I don't think it will matter either way. They did the same thing with Shang. Didn't they do a text fix on Shang-Chi? Shang
What's up, Sean Woody? I think the team will still be top tier. I mean, the biggest effect is in war. I, I, am I right? The biggest place that affects them is in war. This is, I'm not going to win this. Yeah, Prominence, I think you hit the nail on the head there. Prominence says, I think Rem is less mad that it's happening and more upset that the envoys have been complaining about Darkhold for seven months. And I, I think that's absolutely true. <clears throat> Darkhold was so far above everyone, bringing them down makes it so you don't have as much power creep in the future. But Saki, they've kind of already implemented the teams that are going to beat them. I guess that Underworld team was like a punch across, and now it'll be a more secure punch across, maybe even a little bit of a punch up. So I see your point there. <laughs> the, the change doesn't matter as much as the willful ignorance on Scopely's part, yes. The guy's heart's in the right place, but this company has proven it don't matter. I didn't realize how good Gamma is in war until I beat a 1 million weapon X with my 548 Gamma. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? <laughs> Am I saving anything right now? I don't think I'm saving anything. Man, I'm kind of pissed. I can't get back in the top 20. Maybe I do need to build up that Dormammu, huh? Uh, let's go to the to the stores. Hold on a second. We're gonna go to we're gonna go in here to the. I'm not logged in. I think I can just log in with Facebook. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whatever this is, sure, I'll click the box. Persist access until revoked. Yes, I don't want to revoke my access ever. I don't know anybody would. Okay. Uh, official site, we want the milestones, please. <clears throat> Future shock. Sure, I'll claim that one. I don't go. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, me and my monitors are screwed up. I didn't go in here and, and test everything. Let's go here to write display properties and get this hooked up to the correct monitor. I believe it's this one. Nope. This one then. It's going to suck when I have like five monitors and that happens and you guys have to watch me click through the wrong monitor multiple times. But that's your problem, not mine. Okay, so I got that one. Dun, 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 review, 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 milestones ended, all that stuff. Let's go to the store, which is over here, and we're going to go click on, I think I got some free energy in the store. Oh, there's two things you got to collect in the store right now, so be sure you get both of them. One is some sort of orb, and one is the energy that usually happens. And they're usually at the bottom, right? And then we'll just sit and wait for their website to catch up with us. My alliance mate. So how else do I get Valhalla orbs? Me, wallet. <laughs> yeah. Here's the Valhalla orb right here. You get to claim that one for free every day. And then you get your free energy. What are your thoughts on Star-Lord T'Challa? I have mine at real gear because I have... At teal gear because I have six red on him, but also... He's like a personal favorite of mine, but do you think he's a top character or did I waste materials? I don't think you wasted materials, Domdell. He may not be a necessary character, but he's a very useful plug and play character. That remove energy thing, it works really well. And if you have him in teal gear, he lands the defense down the blind. He does that pretty consistently, even in today's meta. I mean, probably not like against an MLF or something or a, or a Wong, but he does a good job in a lot of places. I wouldn't say it's a waste. I'm not going to tell people that they should be building him either, though. I think you could probably get around without him. He makes for a great member of, like, a tech sack team. It, like, I was using a tech sack team to go in and, like, either beat or mostly beat a node, and then I'd go clean it up with my Bionic Avengers. I've now gotten my Bionic Avengers up and running to where I don't need that, but uh, it was it was a thing. So I don't think you wasted your your resources on him. I just wouldn't recommend other people go out of their way to build him either. 
How many blitz rotations per day for the event? Four to five a day, shit shaker. Um, I did three rotations last night and I've got my two hour alarm set. Oh, I for actually, I forgot to set my two hour alarm. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, blitz check, time to go. You're using it with Bionic Avengers because you don't have Hulkbuster. And so <clears throat> Hulkbuster is a pretty crucial part of that team. Hulkbuster laying out lots of slows and really kind of controlling the field with his AoEs. Uh, however, so T'Challa isn't a great one-for-one -one replacement because T'Challa is going to control one character once um, and then do hardcore damage to one character so, I mean, it's a great, I mean, you're gonna be able to put him in there and blind somebody, but you gotta be really choosy who you who you uh, target for his blind, his energy reduction thing, his energy steal. Not to mention, you know, Hulkbuster is generating energy for the rest of the team. It really is kind of a five piece team. There's not any one member that you want to sub out. About that Death Seed team, though, huh? Are you guys immediately upgrading your uh, Magneto and Psylocke like Tana told us to? Man, I don't like it when content creators tell people to build stuff that has not been yet confirmed in game. I think that's just bad. That's just bad advice. I think he should have said, hey, if you like these characters, we're reasonably certain that they are going to appear in game so you can start farming their gear and setting aside gold and saving that for when these characters come out. But man, to tell people to start building them up, what happens if Scopely sees that leaked stuff and goes, you know what? We're gonna screw everybody and, and bring this team out in 6.6 .6 or something. You know? What if that's not even the Archangel team? We don't know that. I mean, we're pretty certain, but we don't know that stuff. And that's why I think that's dangerous to tell people to build on leaked information. If anyone sure is the ideal replacement, oh, for the tech team? Because she's giving them the defense up on spawn and helping their longevity, yeah. Yeah, that's a better one-to-one -one replacement for Hulkbuster, I think, Ethane, because Hulkbuster's slowing that team, slowing the opposing team down where she's allowing your team to ride out the incoming damage, so it's a that's a pretty good idea. Anyone can throw mud at a wall and eventually make it stick. Tana is the shotgun of darts at what's coming. <clears throat> And helping with energy. She doesn't give out a lot of energy though, does she, Athame? I thought it was just one or two bits of energy through her throughout her kit. The heels, yeah, the heels. I just found that um, I guess on my sack team, Shuri doesn't help enough. She allows my sack team to get going and get a few kills. But I, I don't think she's all that great. I, I think you're right though. I think Shuri probably is a better choice than T'Challa. Honestly, the way to go is to have six members. Throw in Shuri with your Bionic Avengers and then have a sack team of five, including T'Challa Star-Lord. But I wouldn't build a sack team. I would build the Bionic Avengers as soon as Hulkbuster becomes farmable in seven months. Energy on her special, and every, every time she gets defense up, she gives out energy to herself to give out more energy. That's true. And she's going to get defense up on spawn with vision, right? So, yeah. So you could time out her defense up with that team. Probably, yeah, that's, that's okay. I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, she gets a defense up on spawn, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, and the more you flip the defense down with Viv, the more you can special with Shuri. Okay, she is a really good fit. Wow, I didn't I didn't realize all that stuff. I knew I kept you around for something there, Theme. He's going to the orb soon, so I'm saving my orbs to eventually be let down, but that's the world-class experience right there, yeah. <clears throat> oh my goodness. 
blitz is so exciting, isn't it? Especially waiting for the app to, to process this information. If you enjoy mindlessly clicking buttons with no end in sight, join Marvel Strike Force, where you can blitz again and again and again for minimal rewards and no fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> you provide it though. I'm going to be curious to see what Archangel's Blitz score is at the end of this thing. Hargrave's on the case. Hargrave's got Archangel Blitzing supposedly eight rotations a day or attempting to do eight rotations a day. So we'll see. No, I haven't seen your Cosmic Crucible teams yet, Athame. Uh, did you, are they in the Discord here? Oh, there they are, okay. I'll bring them up, we'll take a look at them. Did you want to jump in and talk about it? I got nothing planned for today. You can jump in, we'll talk about it. Five more, five more battles left and uh, I'll be done with this. <clears throat> All right, I'll shoot you a call here in three more battles. Uh. Yay, we're done. All right, I'll give you a call, Athame. Let's go. Uh, where is actually Athame? Okay, there's that, and I'll send a voice call. You there? Well, I did answer the phone call. <laughs> okay. All right, we've got a theme on, and I'm going to bring up your Cosmic Crucible defense teams here in just a second. Oh, those are your old ones. Hold on, I want the new ones, don't I? Never mind. I want the new ones. Let's go back to that other... Uh, Conversation. The yeah, the group chat there. Okay. And we're going to go that one. And that one back here, this and right window, which now works. <clears throat> okay. So we've got a theme on the line for those of you just joining us. We're going to go over his Cosmic Crucible defenses. I see that you have the Asgardians in room one with Yo-Yo. What's that all about? So a lot of the teams people tend to throw at this team is, of course, going to be your much faster teams. Just try to blow it up before it gets going. Yo-Yo mm -hmm. so replacing Sif can help to try to mitigate that. Okay. Get offense downs proactively instead of defense up reactively. And Yo-Yo is a pain in the balls to kill first anyway. She's so dodgy. She doesn't do that much damage. So they're still going to be wanting to stun and kill Thor and Mighty Thor first. Maybe Valkyrie, something like that. But it's going to make it very tricky to do quickly, especially with your all your other Asgardians as healers. Uh, that team's going to have some pretty good sustainability. Might uh, screw somebody up, especially if they don't realize that they're going into it with Yo-Yo in there, huh? Certainly my thought process. Try to change it up a little bit all right and then uh we have the uncanny axemen or we have uncanny and axemen combo here you replace kitty with phoenix and let's see your isos are pretty standard skirmisher all around except for beast as a healer you have phoenix as a striker and bishop as a striker uh just kind of throwing some stuff in there that's a little powered with that age of x rule especially given how built up my X-Men is. Mm -hmm. You don't want to save your uncanny for offense or your Axemen for offense for any reason. You've got those, those covered those angles. Well, I have those angles covered in my, uh, uncanny is uh, like 151,000 power. If you count Phoenix. Okay. Okay. Other members are level one still. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They aren't, they aren't doing much. 
All right. And then moving on to Spider Mania, you've got Weaver 99 in there with the Eternals. Wow, that's going to wreck shop, huh? Now, does 99 give that 20% turn meter to the entire team or just the Tangled Web members? Just the Tangled Web members, but that's more than <clears> enough <throat> to let the Eternals go because Weaver stops Eternals from doing their thing. So they aren't coming in here with their own Eternals to counter it. Is there any way to get in front of Weaver with 99 going on in there? What's up, Purple Sticky? Thanks for the raid, my guy. We're talking with a fame about his Cosmic Crucible defense. So uh, is there any way to get in front of Weaver with 99 in there? Zemo, Emma can do it, but you have to have Emma. And then you're relying on Zemo to one, not get ability uh, to not fail the ability block on the deflect from Spider Mania because his passive isn't clearing it off of her. Mm hmm. Not with safeguard. That's that extra 20% resistance check on top of the regular resistance check. So that makes it tricky. Yeah. And <clears throat> at higher levels, you're going to have Spider Weaver with 2099 has so much resist. It's kind of a joke. Mm -hmm. And how's your opponent going to beat this team then if they're not going to use Emma Zemo? Probably going to have to sack it and then go in with something like Infinity Watch, Dark Hole, you know, top tier. Right, right. Thanks, Kindness. I appreciate the subscription there, buddy. Nice to see you back here. Uh, let's move on to number four, which is your latent power. You've got Shang-Chi in there with uh, Shuri and Killmonger with the SA team. I've been hearing a lot about putting Shuri and Killmonger in there with Sam and Maria Hill. Explain to them why that's so amazing. Constant deflex whenever someone drops below half. Keeps the team getting healed by Maria. Defense up on Shuri will always chuck herself more energy and Sam gives defense up to everybody. So they're just constantly chucking energy out between those two. Mm -hmm. And and then doesn't Killmonger does <laughs> doesn't Killmonger do something on defense up or he he does something that's triggered by those things too. He he does an attack or something. Yeah, every time he gets defense up he taps the lowest health. Enemy. That's it. That's it. And then Shang Chi's in there because Shang Chi's in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now biological, biological, bleh, biological temperament in room five is your dark hunters and you got Dormammu in there. Um, a lot of people are saying don't use Dormammu on defense now, right? A lot of people are saying that. Yes. Yeah. But you want him in there um, because this is a really fast out of the gates kind of team. And uh, most of the people that uh, like, the things that are countering Dormammu don't exactly counter Dormammu incredibly well. Like Red Hulk is removing a revive from somebody. There's a few people that kill people um, and they don't revive from it. But it, I still think that Dormammu has a lot of value on defense. And obviously you do too, because you threw him in here on this team. Well, not only that, but the main idea here is if you're using a hero mutant team on five, you know, let's say you have to use unlimited X-Men to counter Dormammu, what are you using to counter six mm -hmm. or three? You know? Right, right. And so, so you've got the uh, Gamma Omega Red Emma team here. How does that work? And, it, and why not do a full Gamma team? Because um, my abomination be tiny. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Emma makes the team go faster, and Omega Red, I'm not using Weapon X too much in offense, so he's another character that gets benefits from six. Mm -hmm. And Omega Red and Red Hulk constantly having speed up, they're, they're just so fast. Right. They are so ridiculously fast, Red Hulk especially. So if you have seven charges on Red Hulk, he technically has 200 speed. Wow. With speed up being permanently there, he basically has... 300 speed now you you have him as a raider a lot of people are are you know raising that question should red hulk be a striker or a raider if he's going that fast you know you get a lot of taps out of him as a striker but uh you want him as a raider are you happy with that choice is that what you think other people should be using um i think you should be running him as a raider because his special and ult are both aoe's his basic is a multi-tap and logically, you can't have every horseman as a striker. That's true. That's true. Um, you have him. I can't see how how big of a raider he is, but is he a three point three or three point four? What? He's a blue four. Oh, blue four. OK, so you're you're all in for the raider then, I guess. Um, yeah. Is there ever a case to run Emma as a healer anymore? 
Does she survive anymore? Not really. It's just her spawn in for speed, right? And then we make her a, um, a skirmisher in case she gets to take a chance at landing a blind or putting a vulnerable out there. That's about it. It's just to give the, everybody that starting opening speed the first turn, right? Like she, she's not the insanely durable character she once was. You know, she used to be the Goliath that you'd have to pull your teeth to take down and you just aren't doing that anymore right now we're seeing characters that can come out and kill her with a basic in one shot so it's yeah. it's yeah. well maybe not your seven red but you know we're, we're seeing some immense damage in this power leap you know coming out especially with these horsemen characters so i i think on that marauder team even there i'm i'm switching her over to a skirmisher and telling other people just build her as a skirmisher forget the whole healer idea it just doesn't work like it used to it's like captain marvel we when she first came out people were running captain marvel as a healer because she would self-heal so much but it's just not playing out that way anymore cooper troop uh, trooper koopa i uh see that you are redeeming some channel points i'll get to that stuff here in just a minute <clears throat> So this is cool. Anything in particular you want to let us know about, like um, how using this team, are you, are there any fears that you have that some of this stuff might be needed for offense or whatever? I mean, not really. I still have the full unlimited X-Men. I still have dark hold. Okay. I mean, those two are pretty one tap punches in and of themselves. I still have cloak and dagger. Mm -hmm. What do you use cloak and dagger for most of the time? I'm using Cloak and Dagger with Dad Bros to kill any other stupid Dormammu hybrid I see. Yeah. Unless it's something like Darkhold, in which case I use Darkhold on Darkhold. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And are you finding any dorm holds still out there? Are people still running that in Cosmic Crucible? People try it, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's it's entertaining. I mean, <laughs> Well, I never built up my unlimited team, so I just have rogue and like a kind of half ass gambit. And so I'm basically using my arena counter for dorm hold when I find it because I have those pieces available. Um, and so I, I just do that when I find dorm hold. But um, I'm I'm not building up my Dormammu just yet. And I don't think I'm going to be bothering to throw him on defense. I might use him on offense for the revives for my team, but he's gear tier level four, not 14, level four. And I'm just going to use them for the revives, but we'll see how that goes. People are trying to convince me to put the mystic gear in him, but it's like, man, I mean, we got, uh, we got all these new tunes that are theor uh, you know, leaked and stuff that are coming our way. You know, do, do I want to be wasting my mystic gear on Dormammu when I feel him or it, like it, it feels, and I'm not certain, but it feels like Dormammu is kind of on the decline right now. I certainly think he may be. Yeah, uh, Juicy says Dormhold gets uh, one shot by Unlimited, and that's why I have uh, put the hearts on my Unlimited team, Juicy. I'm trying my best to get them built up and everything, but uh, it's the gold that's killing me. All right, um, uh, anything else you want to mention on this before I let you go? Not enough hands. No. Well, thanks for sharing, man. These are some great defenses. Everybody loves to see the, the new hotness when it comes to Cosmic Crucible, so I love talking about it with you guys. Absolutely. All right. Well, take care. I'm going to bounce out of here and get back to letting chat troll me. Usually how it goes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was a theme, everybody. Uh, always love it when he stops by. Um, let me get the music playing again. And I want some other music than this. Let's go with something there. There we go. I took Wakanda off defense and I can't believe how powerful they are. Yeah, and Windstorm, they're going to be even better on war offense now with the reworks that are, you know, leaked to come. All right, we have too many hats, full cowboy, and get your hair did all in one shot. This for Trooper Koopa, who loves to just see me stumble over his name. My kids are sneaking in here and peeking around the green screen and stuff, trying to distract me. They just love when I'm streaming and they get to be home for that. Ugh. Ugh. How, do, how do women do long hair? I just don't get it. Like, what's the point? I told my wife, she's totally welcome to shave her head. I'll love her just the same with, with a shaved head. That way she could just, you know, save time, money on having her, getting her hair done, stuff like that. 
Because, man, I can't stand this stuff. Give me the shears. I want the, the military buzz cut for me. Let's, uh, fix this a little bigger. There's my trucker hat right there. And then right on top of that one is the cowboy hat because for some reason you guys think it's amazing when I just stack these things up like that. How was the video I sent you? Juicy, I didn't see it. You want to watch the video? Let's go check out the video. What, what video did you send me? Um, is it this one here? Cosmic Crucible Week 3 Trial 1 with your list of attacks? You want to watch that? Let's go. I ain't got anything else to do today. Let's do it. Let's go back to right window and we're going to have to stop the music that I just got going. And we'll play this and I'm going to have to hold my headphones up to my head here. See what happens. Um, Juicy, hold on a second. Let's see. Juicy, why don't you... I'll give Juicy a call. JG. We just talked to a thing. We might as well talk to Juicy too. Give this a call. There we go. Juicy pick up, would you? Kid Rock cosplay on point today. <laughs> DJ Kid Rock here. <laughs> Juicy's not answering the call. Come on, Juicy, pick up the phone. In a meeting for 10 minutes, he says, OK, we're going to watch Juicy's video and then we'll come back. <laughs> Cosmic Crucible, week two, trial three, the Tangled Web. Ooh, we get sound effects and all, it's even better. I hear my kids screaming in the other room. I gotta go check on them. You guys watch this video and tell me how it plays out. Kids are all fighting out there, and I walk out wearing this getup, and they just immediately stopped and started giggling at me. Are you guys watching this for the second time around? <laughs> Thanks, Windstorm. Appreciate it. <laughs> So what's what's the opening maneuver? How do we deal with the charges? I want to see what what's the team he's using. Okay, it, super speed team getting in front of it with Zemo. It looks like. All right, Noir going first, and then Zemo has to land that ability block through the deflex, which he does. He succeeds, and so then it crushes the team. But what's your odds? Your odds are less than... I mean, you've got a 20% chance of failure on top of the standard resistance check. So I, that's kind of iffy to me. Aren't you guys just using, like, Infinity Watch into Spider Weaver teams? Isn't that the safest way to go about it? Yeah, I, I mean... <clears throat> This isn't Juicy's fight. What am I watching? 
Oh, this is Sexy Jegsy's video. I'm sorry, this is Sexy Jegsy's video. Let's go to Juicy's, which is over here in this one, I think. What's this? Oh, no, this is older stuff. Athame, I'm not 100% sure, or Juicy, I'm not 100% sure of which video you wanted me to look at. That was Sexy Jegsy's video. It was an interesting fight, but that's that whole, like, like Athame was just talking about. I don't need to hold this to my ear, there's no sound coming up. It's like what Athame was just talking about, is that you've got to get that ability block to land on Zemo, and it's a risky one. Okay, your video is in that one. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong one. There it is. Okay, I found it. Here we go. All right, we're going to try this one and go right window. This is Juicy's video. Here's Into Gamma with Dormammu. That's Shang-Chi and Sinister. I've seen this one. I've seen people using this team before, Into Gamma. I don't need sound effects. I, I don't need to listen to this. It's not so. <clears throat> and everybody cloning the abomination. <laughs> Thanks, Tom Dell. I appreciate it. I tried my best. <laughs> Gotta represent everybody, you know? <laughs> so, Juicy, why, why did you choose Abomination to be cloned by Sinister? I, I haven't quite figured out what we're, what we're, why we're choosing Abomination for the clone. Uncanny still slaughters Gamma in Crucible, right? Isn't that the way to do it? Oh, stun on She-Hulk so she can't throw the debuffs back. Okay. What happens when you clone Red Hulk? Does he have any anti-cloning stuff in his kit, making him a smaller version of Red Hulk or something? Oof. Wow, that was brutal. That was brutal. Let's uh, zip up here to the next one. Oh, here's this. Here's the Zemo one. The same thing we saw here from Sexy Jegzy. It's happening again. Let's see if Zemo landed the ability block. So it's probably gonna go. Hulk and Red Hulk do such massive damage on that Gamma team. And their their speed and the amount of turns those two take is just ridiculous. The stun on Spider Weaver again. Knocking out the Tangled Web team, getting the revive off of him. Red Hulk in six ruins the wacky dorm counter. It's an interesting placement putting 99 off to the side instead of over the shoulder of Spider Weaver. Probably not a bad idea though because that forced the the splash damage onto other people that you didn't care. I, did you see me trying to click the continue button right there? <clears throat> Let's jump up to this one. We have it looks like unlimited into a bishop with Darkhold. Unlimited probably kills this pretty well, huh? The speed up killed you.
How was your stream, Purple Sticky? I saw you streaming earlier, but I was dealing with some stuff, so I couldn't stop by. <clears throat> I was lurking in a few streams last night. I didn't really feel much like being social, though. Yeah, this one's under control. Just a matter of time there. We'll speed through that. Let's see here. Now we've got, looks like, new warriors with Star Lord to feed that energy over to Dagger, so she'll do her alt. And then Drax to keep them alive from things. Did did Red or did Omega Red just not land the ability block on a Drax? <laughs> That's funny. Isn't he supposed to have just like that? Was weird. Omega Red was blind. Okay, okay, that's why. I was gonna say. I know he's not a hero mutant, but he's still got great focus for that against the drags. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was easy. That was easy. Let's go up to the next one, which is SA with Deathpool. Kestrel, Fury, going into a mishmash of Underworld with Surfer, and I think this was just a cleanup fight here. Wow, that, that just destroyed. That was all speed and damage right there. That's a match I could have won. A-Force into YA. <clears throat> Energy went to Doom there, so this should be an easy match. I hate this fight, because there's that point when, like, the energy goes to somebody, and sometimes you can see it happen, and sometimes you're like, did Doom get it? And then you're just waiting and waiting and waiting for the YA to finish their turns so that you can see if it's going to be an uphill battle or an easy victory. And when he gets the energy, man, it's, it's so simple. And the last fight over here, which looks like the cleanup match with Infinity Watch into Red Hulk. This is kind of funny. Um, Red Hulk, just like 1v5 and and kind of a tough battle just to showcase how, how tough he is. I mean, you know, he's gaining, what, two charges with every attack because every attack is going into him. Well, I guess that's not, that's war he would gain every two charges. He's getting one charge every attack. But got that ability block on him too, so never mind. It cleanses and then he crushes. <laughs> now you're free. We just finished your video. Hey, why don't you? I'll, uh, I'll give you a call, Juicy. We'll just we'll just sit and chat. I got nothing else going on here. Let me send you a call. Uh, let me find the private one. There we go. There's that. I'm gonna take these off. Room 6 cleanses on turn, so Red Hulk is pretty unstoppable. Juicy, I'm calling you. Uh, there. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So those are your Cosmic Crucible matches. Anything you really regret or changes that you want to make to that? Hold on a second. I'm going to do this and uh, mute it, and we'll let this play in the background while we talk. How was that? Uh, how yeah. yeah, so... Sorry. Hello? Go ahead. Sorry, I was drinking water. Yeah, so the, the obviously the first the big one that I noticed was just uh, six. Room six really messes up uh, the gamma counter. And now was so that was, was that the gamma team? Because I don't know what rooms we're in when we do these battles, so I'm going to fast forward to yes. that gamma fight. Yeah, so that first fight. Oh, this is the wrong. This is the wrong one. Hold on, this is the wrong one. I'm on the wrong video again. Okay, let's do this one. There's that. And the Gamma fight was the first one? Okay, so I got the Gamma fight playing. You have the Sinister uh, Dormammu uh, Shang-Chi counter up here. And this was in room six? 
Yes. Okay. And it's the oh. speed up on Red Hulk that's screwing you up, right? That's what you and a thing yeah, were saying in chat. Yeah. That, that, if you watch closely, if you compare it to like other people who are beating that team, you'll just notice that the Red Hulk gets unstunned faster. And then it didn't help that Hulk went nuts at the very end, but it was definitely that Red Hulk going unstunned a lot faster that mm -hmm. that fight. Yeah. Because. What I'm noticing with the Gamma team is that the damage coming out of Green and Red Hulk is so tremendous that they're ending the fight before any of the control features of their counterparts are really taking effect on the match. It's not about the stuns and offense down from the Abomination. It's just that they're punishing you so violently, especially when Red Hulk gets his battlefield effect on the field and you're just bleeding to death with every turn. So it's a brutal match. And I think you really do have to control that red Hulk. And with the speed up, like you guys were saying, he's, he's getting off the chain faster and just coming through. Now you chose abomination so that you could stun, um, she Hulk and keep her from clearing the negative effects. Was that yes. the right choice in hindsight? Yeah, that's the right choice. Okay. Um, the only thing I have questioning is right here where Hulk is going crazy. I tried to just take him down. I mean, partly because I know I was about to lose this one. So as you can see, I stopped going after Red Hulk and I'm just like, all right, let me just clean up because I know I'm about to lose this. Mm -hmm. As you see, like I can tell right here I'm about to lose. So I'm just trying to kill the rest of them instead of even worrying about Red Hulk. You're right. So. And there it goes. Red Hulk just <laughs> blowing it up. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a powerful duo there. And um, is there, had you known that was going to be the outcome, would you have chosen a different team to go into that match? Uh, not really, because I mean, the other options I had was going to be something that was going to take up way too much of my firepower. Right. And you, you needed know. you needed unlimited for the dark hold in here is what you used your unlimited for in this dark hold yeah. with Bishop. Um, is there anything else that, that beats the dark hold with Bishop reliably? Um, so the, the other big one that, especially if we're going to start seeing dark hold outside of six, then I'm going to start probably retrying dark or uh, dorm with seeing if that can kill it because the, I watch it. Sorry, you, you got a little modulated there. What, what are you going to use? Say that again. I said I might start trying to do another dorm comp like um, dorm with iWatch. Okay. To kill, kill Darkhold. Okay. So it seems to me like either way you were gonna lose. You were gonna have to double tap one of these, whichever way you you put unlimited. Unlimited was gonna get one kill, and then whichever team you didn't use the unlimited on was gonna be a double tap with that Red Hulk being in in room six there. Um, so I think. Kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. But this was a pretty, pretty decent outcome to it. Are there any other other matches you want me to zip to to take a look at? Uh, I mean, the New York, New Warriors was pretty helpful. Oh yeah, I think some people because they're putting a lot of. I've seen Weapon X a lot more on defense, and so that one's I think ahead. Oh, and then obviously Eternals new, but most people have seen Eternals uh, versus you just A B block Weaver and kill everybody. Yeah, with Eternals. Okay, so I got your your new warriors with Drax and uh, Surfer in here with Star Lord going up against that Weapon X team with um, Red Guardian in there. Mm -hmm. And the reason yeah. the new warriors work so well against this is because they have the big opening AOEs, which are just punishing, especially when you've got characters that have defense down on them like that, and then. Surfer with another violent AOE landing that ability block on Omega Red. It looks, yeah, that's, wow, that, that just seems really efficient, doesn't it? Yeah, so this is a nice efficiency one, and because Weapon X doesn't have a lot of cleanses, and so they just, as I said, they're just eating deep, debuffs like crazy right now especially with you know putting that heal block on them because a lot of them regenerate health really well so if you can get the heal block on them they don't have any sustainability at that point in time and like you said with no cleansing um yeah you're just you're just beating them up there so making it look simple uh what do you think about these this nerf to agatha on the dark hole team is that going to affect the way it plays out in crucible or is that only a war thing that's going to happen with her putting out the extra barrier no longer 
Uh, I think it's going to make it an easier fight, but I mean, honestly, it just depends on what they're putting Darkhold with. Mm -hmm. If they're leaving him at six, I mean, I got that with was never your problem child anyway it's always going to be mlf mm -hmm. it's not going to make it that much easier to beat her okay yeah. so that's probably just going to be a war thing which honestly it kind of feels like we're scopely's already pumping out the the teams that are built to kind of at least soft counter dark hold anyways so mm -hmm. um not too worried about it but yeah. i i don't like it when they nerf characters no matter what but um i'm not too worried about this one in the first place i see a lot of people breaking them up and using the pieces of dark hold now for all sorts of weird stuff yeah and i mean the only <clears> way you're really gonna feel that nerf is if you're using them in raids yeah and that's really where the nerf is going to be the most affected because you're not going to get that barrier to help you through that long mode mm -hmm. but in in the other modes, most of the time, that, that barrier wasn't happening twice anyway. Or not as often as people think. All right, so here's my cross Cosmic Crucible team, since I got you on the line. What do I use into Unlimited? Because I don't have a full Unlimited team. And this is Unlimited with Emma in place of Phantom X. Uh... Let me see here. So you have that on defense, or that's what you have to This is This is what I gotta go into. Okay, and do you have Weaver on offense or defense? I have Weaver on defense. Uh, let me see what I have. I don't. Does the available thing work in this game mode? I don't think that's how it works. But I, I can uh, show you. On yeah, just click on attack and I can look at it. Um, okay. So I got... Let me, let me show you some of my teams. Here, I'll, I'll just show you some of my saves, save teams that I've got for, for Crucible. Um, I use these guys as I usually use these as sack teams to go in and whittle like I'll, I'll whittle down the unlimited team and then come in with something else to finish it off because these eat up the the rogue moves pretty well. Weapon X, of course, for offense, my dark hold with Emma. Then I've got an eternal comp that I can throw in there. SA, uh, D force, young Avengers. This is garbage. Ignore it. Then my bionic Avengers for the web warriors. Of course, this is pretty much garbage. I never use it. And then I've got my dark hunters. Plus a few other little things like I've got rogue and a half built gambit. Um, what else do I have? Surfer for plug and play. Uh, can't really think uh, of anything else. T'Challa is a good plug and play character too. Uh, death pool. I think I've got the new warriors on defense, but I still have death pool available. And that's about it. Really? Uh, Zemo of course is a flex character and then stuff that I just don't use. Go so, back to what room is it in? Uh, let's go take a look here. This is in room four, the latent power one. Uh, that one should be... Let me see if you need Eternals for anything. Because you should be able to just do Emma, Eternals, Bishop... Oh, they have Emma too. Yeah, they've got, they've got Emma on there also. Let's go, go to six. I just wanted to, I want to tell you a team and then you burn up all the things. Six is this uncanny with Invisible Woman and Doc Ock. It, it kind of looks like a kitchen sink team, but I'm not going to underestimate Jubilee and Phoenix in there. Uh, Emma, Cable, Rogue, Eternal should kill that unlimited team pretty easily. Emma, Cable, Rogue, Eternals? Okay. And then... Yeah. Oh, Emma, Cable, Rogue, Eternals for this unlimited team? For number four. Okay. Uh, six is S.A. Kestrel. That's not going to be too difficult. Just uh, go back to it. S.A. Kestrel okay. for six? Yeah, that team lacks synergy. Yeah. So S.A. Kestrel just would wipe that so hard. Okay. Um, um, this Age of X biological temperament, this seems like they put in some leftover pieces. I'm not too worried about this. Um, I mean, they're all yeah. hero mutants and stuff, so I'm not going to underestimate it either, but they're, they, they no, took out the best pieces of all of that stuff there. Well, they, they killed it with taking Jews out because now you can hit Beast and lower Beast without him speeding up. Exactly. And then so if, if, Phantom X has very little synergy at all with that team. He's just left yeah. over because they pulled him off of the Unlimited. Of course, the bio, the bio team is going to go down with um, uh, Bionic Avengers. Uh, my dad bros with Shuri over here. Um, do you have dad bros yourself? Uh, no, I think I have, I think I put like, oh, let's see what I did. Um, I think I've got my dad bros in here someplace. Um, oh, I'll have to back out one. Yeah, that one's like a Wakanda kill or 
So here's Dad here's Bros. what I did on defense. I did Dad Bros with New Warriors and Negasonic. My thinking here was just putting in three three damage, three you know upfront damage uh, potential things. Just I don't know, throwing some stuff together. I got my Wakandans with Taskmaster in there in place of Mbaku. Uh, this is some leftover junk, but surprisingly, this catches people off guard. I don't know why. Uh, then I've got my uncanny in here, which is just a full uncanny team. I put gamma in on the bio. I probably should move them to six. And then I've got my spider weaver with uncanny, which was this one's doing a lot of good for, for some defensive victories. So, yeah, that seems annoying. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I like being no. annoying. <laughs> So anyway, what am I using for teams one and two? Um, they shouldn't be too drastic, but I mean, I, I got to do something. I have a uh, um, A Force with Doom available. Will that work anywhere? Because they didn't. And I also have my Young Avengers. Uh, why I should kill either one of those easily? Okay, uh, I would do A Force Doom on one, and then I would use um, Young the other team. You young, young Avengers on the other one. Yeah, on the you should be able because their damage isn't too bad. Okay, uh, so because you can probably Young Avengers into this one and A Force Doom into the Dark Hunters because the Dark Hunters are going to kind of mess up my Young Avengers a little bit more than than the Dad Bros will, I would think. Mm -hmm. And Dad Bros yeah, with their was... with their AOEs coming off the Dad Bros, that's going to speed up Squirrel Girl a lot. Yeah, and then you just you just turn them down long shot, like don't even pay attention to the rest of the other. Yeah. Okay. All right, sounds like a good plan of attack. You said, what, what am I using for the unlimited team again? Let me write this down. No, I don't have a pen. Never mind. If you're going for the one shot, which you probably are, I would go with the Rogue Eternals Emma Cable and just control the Rogue and the Eternals should kill everybody else. Okay. And then over here on this, this last one, this junk team uh, with, with Jubilee and Phoenix, what was that one going to be? Uh, SA Kestrel, I would drop Maria for some more firepower, like a death pool. SA with, uh, death pool. Okay. Instead of Maria. All right. Sounds good. I think I can handle the rest of this stuff. Like I said, this one doesn't have a ton of synergy in number five. Um, and then the, the web warriors. Oh my goodness. They're so easy with, uh, with this stuff. Um, Papa squat with a follow. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, man. I think I got a pretty good plan. I'll give it a shot. All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, take it easy, Juicy. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Let's get some music going. And, um, ooh, 1210. I don't, I don't have time to do my Cosmic Crucible right now. I'm going to have to do it later. Let's do collect my challenges, and then I'm probably going to have to get out of here. <laughs> the shout out to Juicy has him playing no game right now. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Um, also, a shout out to Zero for helping me with some of these challenges I've gone through and been able to do some of this stuff like these mutant ones um, because Zero has been coaching me behind the scenes on how to do some of that stuff. What Cosmic Crucible League am I in? I'm in Wood League. No, um... I don't remember. It's not Masters. I'm definitely not in Masters. I don't remember. Where do I find uh, leagues? Here it goes. Here it is. Plat 3. I'm in Plat 3. Ooh, Plat 3. That's not very good, is it? Everybody's in Plat. <laughs> Zero is coaching most of the MSF Twitch community. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, uh, I'm going to wind it down, guys. I got stuff I got to go do. Remember, I'm not going to be putting out any more content. Probably not tomorrow, all the way through Monday, because I've got to drive back to Oregon and pick up some cats, and that's going to be insane. I'm hoping I'll get the opportunity to uh, jump on the horn with some other content creators and just, like, chat with them while they stream and stuff. So hopefully I'll still be around. But I will be on Twitch listening to everybody and um, watching, because I'm always watching. I'm always watching even when you think I'm not watching. We'll head over to Sen Raven's stream.
No, not question mark. Did it work? There it goes. Okay, good. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. I will catch you guys next time as soon as it lets me click this raid button. All right. Bye, guys.